Welcome on uh, C squared. In this video clip, we will talk about absolute value equation. The first equation we have here, number 36, says absolute value of 3x equals 18. And don't forget an absolute value equation, you have to break this original absolute value equation in two separate equation. The first one, 3x equals 80. The second one, 3x equals negative 80. And obviously the first one, we divide by 3, we get x equals 6. The second one, also divide by 3, we get x equals negative 6. So, as you notice, we have two solutions for this absolute value uh, equation. Let's go to number 37, uh, which is a little bit different than that. You see we have four times the quantity that is that in absolute value for y minus 5, minus 2 equals 10. So the first thing you want to do in this type of uh, inequality is to solve for the absolute value. As you see, the first step was to add 2 to get rid of that minus 2. And obviously now we want to get rid of the 4, so we're going to divide by 4. And in this moment, we are back on uh, a similar problem of 36. We have an absolute value equal to a number. We have to break this absolute value equation in two equation. You see those two, those two equations, on each one we add 5 and we end up with y equals 8 and y equals 2. An absolute value equation, I would strongly advise you to check the solution set, because sometimes you can get what is called an extraneous solution. And let's see a last example, like this number 38. We have an absolute value of 2z minus 3 equals 4z minus 1. The same story here, we're going to break this inequality in two pieces. The first one will be this one, 2z minus 3 equals 4z minus 1, so we just drop the absolute value. The second one will be Opposite, right? Remember, positive and negative. The same of these two expression. Uh, we have 4 z minus one on the first one, and the on the other one, the opposite, negative. Parentheses 4 z minus one. Let's solve the first one. And we end up to z equals negative 1. Let's see the second one. Okay, so uh, we end up with z equals two thirds. As I said, you have to check these two solutions to see if any of those is extraneous. 
let's see the first one, negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, minus 3, negative 5. Uh, so remember here we have absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. And we're going to see what's happening on the other side. Well, again, we're going to plug negative 1 for z. 4 times negative 1, it's negative 4. Minus 1 is negative 5. As you notice, this statement is false. So this solution is not good. This extraneous solution, how we call. So let's move to the second one to check it. Two thirds. Uh, that one is not that friendly, but maybe I want to write it down if you want to check it. So let's see what we get. 2 times 2 thirds minus 3, and everything in absolute value, that will be 4 thirds minus 9 thirds, and that will be negative 5 thirds. Again, absolute value of that gentleman, it's 5 thirds. And that is the left side. Let's see the right side. Or times two-thirds minus one. That will be eight-thirds minus one. Well, let me change this one in three-thirds. It's the same thing. And we end up with five-thirds. So it looks like this one works. Five-thirds and five-thirds. So this is a good solution. Is not extraneous solution like the other one. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video clip um, and uh, come back on C square for more video clips. Thank you and have a great day.